We're going to fit CCTV to the camper van today. She's been poorly for a while. She's been in the garage for over a week and yet she's still not fixed. You see, there's a major coolant leak leaking internally into the engine. It's not leaking out onto the road. So it's going to be an expensive job. I know that much. Took it into a garage, a friend of mine. He always looks after me and he said, do you know what? You need a sniff test doing on it. That checks whether there's any um, exhaust gases in the coolant I found a company and i phoned them up said i need a sniff test doing on my van they're like yeah no problem bring it down today we'll get it done for you not a problem great i needed it doing on such short time frame because i had work and other stuff going on so i took it down to them three days they had the van and it wasn't until the last day that they actually did the sniff test they wanted to go through and do all these diagnostics and stuff stuff that i never agreed to but still they've done all this diagnostics they've done everything that I didn't really need them to do. Anyway, the sniff test come out and said there was exhaust gases in the coolant box, or coolant tank. So that leaves me with a couple of options. That could mean a couple of different things. Now, everybody that's experts on this van or that have got previous experience with these vans says the EGR valve is a common issue. It goes with everybody less than 100,000 mile. It always goes, I've got just less than 100,000 mile on this van. The EGR cooler, when that leaks, that gives me the same symptoms as what my van's got. When they plugged it into the diagnostics, it flagged up there, EGR um, flow rate, something or other. There was a problem with the EGR valve. So it's all adding up to the EGR valve. But they phoned me up and said, oh, you've got gases. The computer says you've got gases in your, your coolant. So we're gonna need to take your engine apart. That's gonna cost you another 500 pound. Before we even fix the problem, another 500 pound to then diagnose to see whether that is the problem i'm not paying 500 pound for you to do a test when there's loads of other free tests that you can do to see whether the egr valve is faulty so i've brought the van back don't want to get ripped off paid them the 100 pound for the diagnostics that i didn't really ask for and i've got a friend of mine not so much a friend of mine, he's an acquaintance. He's been highly recommended as a specialist for these vans. And I've been speaking to him quite a bit on Facebook. So I've got it booked in with him. Problem is, it's Easter, so that's going to take a while. Tuesday is the earliest I can get it to him. So does that mean another week off work? I don't know. All I know is it means the van's back so I can get the CCTV installed. We have got a full box load of stuff to get put onto the van today. That's just something I added in there. So let's have a look at what we've got. In these boxes, you can see we've got three boxes. So that's the three external cameras. You can see what they're called just there. They're the Argos Ultra, the Argos 3 Ultra. They're from a company called Rio Link. And it, you can check it. You can link them up to the Wi-Fi that I've got in the van, the mobile Wi-Fi. And you can check it all out on your phone. You can add SD cards into them. So it will store all the stuff onto the SD cards. There's no payment plans for it. There's no nothing like that. You can check it live while you're sat anywhere just open up whichever one you want have a look at it perfectly fine that's exactly perfect for what i want this one is an internal camera it's called the e1 zoom and yeah it just plugs into the internal so it can keep an eye on your internal side of it these three boxes here are the ones that i like the look of check that out we have got solar panels to keep those cameras charged up rio link solar panel 2 so today we basically got to get all this installed depending on how quick we run through the day depends if we get any other any more other jobs either way i've got the van here for the easter holidays i can't drive it more than 10 minutes so we're going to just get loads of work done on the van as soon as i can drive it properly and it gets fixed i can then nip down to vans adventures and get loads of the units all sorted in it we've got a shower unit that's got to go in we've got the bulkhead that blocks off the garage and then we've got overhead locker there I've got to build a bed to go there. We've got the whole shower internals to do the, we've got loads of stuff to do. We've got a full kitchen pod unit here, two overhead storage up there. It's gonna look amazing once it's done, but I may as well crack on with some other work. Let me quickly show you, cause I've already set up the app and I've already connected these to the app so that I can physically see them perfectly fine. But today now is the time to actually get through and sort them out so inside this little wrapper just here is quite cool you've got all of the instructions in multiple different languages full operational instructions the thing i like about this there's pictures apps it's a case of scan the qr code to then link it up to the app the qr codes are on the back of the actual cameras so this is the argus 3 look at that it's the argos 3 ultra and you can see the qr code just there i'm holding it at an angle so that basically i can't scan it and your phone won't scan it while you're watching this anyway you scan that qr code 
it logs onto the app, connects it up together with your signal, boom, that's you done. Look at that for a camera. That's absolutely amazing. So inside this, again, more operational stuff. You've got all the stickers. So you, and again, you've got the stickers in all different languages. And this is the template you're going to need to be able to secure it to the van. So let's have a look inside this piece just here. There is the bracket that holds it to the van. So you've got full availability that's what i'm going to say you can move it and twist it to whichever sort of angle that you want it secures there that links up with the template just there so basically just stick the template on wherever you want it and secure that to it you've got a strap there so if you wanted to strap it down you can and you've got a charging cable just there because you can charge these cameras through a standard wool socket through a laptop through anything that operates a usb really however for me i'm going to be charging this through solar panel underneath this part just here you've got a fully waterproof seal and underneath there you've got the on off switch straight down there that's where you put your micro sd card so you can store all of the footage that you capture it records on a loop function so when it's full if you've not saved that footage it'll just keep recording over it inside this one is where you plug in the solar panel or where you plug it into the wall to charge it that bolt gets secured to the van then that thread meets up with that thread and then gets locked on with that and i've got three of them on the van so i'm thinking one down one side looking at the sliding door and the passenger door one down the other side looking at the driver's door and one over the back somehow looking at the back doors the solar panel is just a awesome little rigid solar panel it's got a cable there usb-c connector so that'll connect straight into the camera there's the actual stand for it so this can go on the roof there is enough cable length to reach each individual camera now for the camera looking down the passenger side i want it to protect the door and the sliding door but it's got to go far enough back to where the sliding door won't hit it so we've looked up just up the top there right up in the corner the 4k cameras so they can look really well and get every detail going down the van that's the view that uh, it'll have just a tiny little drill bit we've got the eyes it's just a case of pop two holes in we unscrew the mount from its backing plate we've got the stainless steel screws that come with the kit we've cleaned and paint prepped the holes that we've just made because we don't want them to rust in the future we're going to add a little bit of sicker flex just to help with the water resistant you know the water tightness part of it and then it just looks like that it doesn't stick that far off the van i've got enough maneuverability to be able to maneuver it to where i want the camera to point but first i want to get the solar panel on same scenario with this you've got the solar panel you've got the stand which comes apart just there you've got the cable that's attached to the solar panel then you've got the lovely little template the instructions have got the measurements for what is the best angle to have this at to obtain the best sun me personally i'm just going to leave it flat because the sun and a moving vehicle it's going to change all the time and then it just looks like that nice and secure now the real test we've got the camera we've undone the plugs at the bottom that's where the solar panel is going to clip in and then underneath that one just there i've just got to turn it on and with the camera just sat there looking pretty it's really nice and secure you've got the solar panel just there the wire comes in into the uni strut and i've cable tied it in there to keep it nice and secure it goes down there and i've cable tied it under there as well to keep that nice and secure little cable going into it let's now move the ladders and see what it looks like on on the phone it doesn't even stick out like a sore thumb but it's there to noticeably tell people as a visual deterrent that they're going to be caught on camera so all we have to do because we have already scanned all the qr codes and loaded it all up to the app is just simply open the app connect to the camera that i want to look at load up the live camera feed and there we go it's 4k footage just look at how good that quality is anyway we are going to open the sliding door just to see what the time delay is if there is a time delay because that's a big problem with most other companies let's have a look we open the door one there we go less than a second perfect now let's get the other two external cameras fitted these are absolutely amazing whoosh so this is the third one we've got the one just up there we've set up the motion detections for it you can do all that in the app we've got the other one up there that's so looking straight down and we've put it quite far back so that you can see if anyone tries to get in the sliding window and the driver's side door but my issue is with the third one i want it to be able to see the back doors but with the angles and stuff i can put it down on there but it's going to be pointing away from the van sort of there if i put it on the top of the roof it's not going to look directly down at the back doors solution is probably 
build a uni strut bracket or a rack that this could sort of stand on straight and look down that's me goal for that one but that's coming at a later date the internal cameras ran on 240 volts and i haven't sorted the electrics in this van yet so we'll do that one at a later date too so subscribe to see all that sort of stuff come apart we're going to go on to the app now 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 you can see we've got three set up that's because i've set up three only two of them are actually on the van all we do we click on them load up the camera that we want to play with this is the settings side of it you can set up all the motion detection the alarms the sensors everything you want to do there's three buttons at the top where you can click on anything like torches lights alarms click on the settings one that's where all your motion detection settings all are you can set it the sensitivity it will tell you the battery power of it whether it's charging this one is currently 45 percent battery and charging through solar at the moment at the bottom of those cameras you've got three toggles that's what i'm going to call them so you can talk to people you can watch your playbacks you can do loads of other things down the bottom just there it started raining so i figured i'd come into the van and start playing around on the app a little bit more just to familiarize myself with it there's a little toggle if you click onto one camera having a look at one camera on the live view and you see someone out there you've got two extra little deterrents i'm going to call it you can turn a flashlight on on the actual uh, camera itself just to illuminate everything and number two you've got a trigger alarm sensor so you can physically turn an alarm on on that camera to scare people away how awesome is that so you detect somebody there and you think right well, i'm not going out to them but i'll trigger my alarm that's pretty cool so while it's chucking it down we've come in and we're doing a lot more we may as well make the most of the bad weather. I figured I'd start sort of carpeting the sliding door. We've got some good ideas for this. So we've got the top piece done to just down there and at the top of that door handle. Then we'll do the bottom part. But you can see these plastic panels. You've got one there, one there and one up there. Well, I think that middle one and the one at the top is going to be done in the same material as the ceiling. You can start to see why we ordered quite a bit more than what we actually needed of this ceiling. I can't talk today. Starting to work out in our favour having this week off work. I don't agree with having a week off work. I don't like having a week off work, but we may as well make the most of it. Who knows? We may even get some of the electrics in over the next couple of days. Which I'm not being funny. You've seen me do this kind of thing loads before on this channel. If you're new around here, please subscribe. Peace out, guys.